morning, morning, morning. Right, let's go and try, see if we can get that. Staying out of the carpet. So this afternoon we'll have a look and we can compare that area with at that area. See how we go. Morning, morning. So I've just had our rep from one of our bookshops come in. And I've got this big pile of books. So I um, thought I'd run you through some of the ones that I've chosen. Girl in the Castle, a little bit of a thriller. I thought this one here, Growing with Gratitude, would be good for our counsellor. Again, some resources for them. They do a really good job over there. Oh, look, John Boyne. Apparently this is the sequel to the Boyne Striped Pyjamas. Half of these will probably go home for me with me in the school holidays. <laughs> a couple of kids' books. Sports biography, the history of the computer, a couple of graphic novels that are non non fiction, interesting ones. Enola Holmes. So I've got the actual the the you know the text the ones with the text, but these are graphic novels trying to build up my graphic novel collection because um, it's a good way of encouraging kids to read. This one here is absolutely beautiful. So we spend our whole lives in one body and yet most of us have practically no idea of how it works and what goes on inside it. Look at this. I wouldn't mind having this to read in the morning. I used to do that years ago before we had smartphones. When I'd get up in the morning, I would read with my cup of coffee. I would read um, a non-fiction book. Another Lee Child, because you've got to have Lee Child. This one was our New Zealand Book Awards for young children and young adults winner for this year. So it's important. What else have we got? This is a story about um, online relationships. So, yeah. This one here is to do with fast fashion, but it's written, um, it's by Barrington, published by Barrington Stoke. And this print and the colour of the pages is designed to help people with dyslexia. Just helps them decipher the text easier. This one here, Daily Wisdom, guided by Hina, the Māori Moon. Another Jodie Picoult book. I don't really read Jodie Picoult. I don't really like her books, but lots of other people do. Oh, my mate, who's the science, head of science, she's a biology teacher. She will love this. So it's beautiful. They've incorporated the Māori names for things. 
I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, so this is about uh, 1966, an international con man, Robert Gardner, bought a highly skilled crew of grifters to New Zealand to pull off one of the biggest swindles in the country's history. You guys can tell that now that I've got this, my stock take's pretty much gone for today because I'll be looking through all these. This one here looked cool. It's called Marple. 12 news stories, 12 great writers, one Agatha Christie. Another kid's one. The cover of this one got me. <laughs> Um, this one is really topical for us at the moment, conspiracy theories. Since um, the whole COVID-19 thing, it's just off the Richter scale. And then, of course, this is the book that I've already bought for myself, but I bought it for us. Got to have a Nicholas Sparks. Another David Baldacci. So I try to get a variety. I try to get books for the teachers and older students as well. And then we've got this one here. This is quite cool because it's got electric vehicles and um, it's a battleship, snowmobiles. So it's quite cool. It's got just a whole 50 vehicles that change the world. And then this one here, anything Māori I'll buy, because I want our collection to be extensive. So, just it's like a, an encyclopedia. So it's quite an artwork. Hini Nui Ōtipo, she was um, Death and Dawn. night it's like night wow look at those the hoya it's a tiki calabash what else have we got It's a fortified pa at the top and the kumara, kumara fields underneath. Um, these are always quite old books, these, and this will just be a re republication. So there you go Taonga Tuku Iho, an illustrated. Encyclopedia of Traditional Māori Life. Yes, that's a revised edition. It was A.W. Reid. That's... He, like, he's dead. <laughs> Long time ago. So I've just got home. <laughs> Some more purchases have arrived. There's a bit of a long story to this. So I've just got this new kettle. Um, because the one that I've got, the lid's broken, but that's not the main reason. But it's really, really, really noisy. So when that's going, you can't watch TV. That's how loud it is. And it's just really poor quality paint on it, and it all chipped off. I've never had anything like that. And, of course, at the time when I bought it, I bought a matching toaster. The toaster um, has started to pack it in too. So I had to get a matching toaster. And I've always liked Russell Hobbs. So these were very, very, very discounted. And I've been saving for them for a while. So when I saw that they were, I just went bugger it and I've just bought them. So the second part of the story is... <laughs> um, I just bought another vacuum cleaner so the one I have is also a Dyson it's a stick vacuum and I bought it because my friend had one and it's so portable it's easy to pull out you don't have to you know 
plug in a PowerPoint. We've got very few PowerPoints here, so I'm always having to use extension leads and what have you. But there's a couple of issues I have with it. One is that it doesn't, um, like it's got the attachments to do edges, but it's actually quite hard. It's, it's not as easy to do with a flexi hose, if that makes sense. And also, um, hard floors. It's got a hard floor foot tool. Is terrible. It flicks up. Anything bigger than a grain of rice will not go up. And it flicks stuff everywhere. So you almost have to sweep the floor before you vacuum. It's excellent on carpets. It's so good. And it is good for like a midweek vacuum. But I wanted another decent vacuum cleaner for when you do a really good thorough clean. And also for cleaning the car. Because I find it's not that good for cleaning the car, the stick vac. So this is this one's on sale as well. And I've been saving for this as well. They just all happen to be coming in one week. <laughs> Hello, hello. Oh dear. It is just after 4 30. I've just been outside and I have raked up the grass clippings that the lawnmower man's left in a pile. And I've picked some beans. So, some broad beans. But we're going to have an easy tea tonight. We're just going to have oven fries, steak and salad. It's pretty exciting getting those um, getting those goodies. So I've tried out the vacuum cleaner. Um, you would have seen I tried out the carpet cleaner this morning and the carpet's come up beautiful. Looks for, You can see the difference. Um, I had to boil the jug three times. I said to... Boil it, fill it, boil it, empty it, fill it, boil it, empty it three times. And um, before you use it, it's so quiet. You can't <laughs> tell it's going really. And I'm like, oh, you won't even hear when it stopped boiling. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so now I'm thinking I might sort of rearrange my bench top in the kitchen because I've got the jug at one end and then I've got the toaster at the other and it actually be quite nice to have them both down um, at the same end and then have the other end for meal prep so I might have a little tidy up and do that but in saying that I finished the second clue for the MCAL and are oh, the first clue not the second clue I need to start the second clue and I didn't take it to work with me today because I knew that um, yeah, I was going, probably going to have to watch a video or something and, and or at least try and concentrate. So I decided I'd do it when I get home. So I've just broken down all the boxes that everything came in. And yeah, I'm really happy the vacuum cleaner does work so much better on the hard floors. But the kitchen looks really good. So I oh, thank God for that. The, the the stick vac still is, I reckon, a better carpet suction thing because it's got the brush thing that goes around. So when you've got pet fur and stuff like that, it picks that up. And we don't have a cat anymore, but our neighbour's cat still visits us. So, yeah, things like that. So it's really, really good. I feel good. I feel a bit tired today, though. I think my weekend's caught up with me. So, yeah. Not a very exciting day for everybody else. So yeah, wish me luck. Maybe I'll put Kelly's um Kelly Menzies from Row Row and Cades. I might put her her week her her clue two or MCAL week two video on and have a look. It might inspire me. Right. Let's see how we go. I 
So in this corner I used to have my toaster. It was always a real pain. So I've moved the utensils which were at that side of the oven so that I've got a resting place for the frying pan. I hate putting it away because I use it all the time. And then everything else is there. And then the air fryer can just come out here and sit there when it's been used. And then I've put the toaster there, the jug there, so all the breakfast stuffs together. And then you've got tea, coffee stuff, the green stuff's my nutrient rescue. And then I've got the foyer up there. That's our plates ready for our dinner. So yeah, got mushroom sauce, got um, fries in there, and then the steak will be at the end. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The sauce, <laughs> this mushroom sauce is so nice. Oops, that's flour in there. I actually just want to have some now. Oh, it pops. Hmm. That'll teach me. Yummy. This is Evan's dinner. are still on the floor guys <laughs> right put that down off to have a cup of tea I think good afternoon just got home and I'm about to go outside so I've got some fabric that I bought you know, quite a while ago so I want to just quickly overlock the raw edges on those and chuck them in the washing machine, put them on the line, pre-wash them before I cut some patterns out. And I'd also like to go and water all the pots outside because, um, yeah, they get a bit dry. So I'll do that now. So I've got these three. This is just a black rayon. That one there... I think it's, I actually can't remember, it might be a rayon. I'd have to go back and have a look at my order history. So it's going to be a dress. This is going to be a dress and a skirt. I've got quite a lot of that. There's six metres there. So there's that one. Uh, it's another rayon and this one is a linen. So that's going to be a top. That would probably be a dress. Dress, dress, because you know, <laughs> don't have enough dresses.
So I overlock the edges, the raw edges, so that they don't fray and tangle in the washing machine. That's just about dry, that one. Too bad. So actually what I might do is go inside and iron bought some black linen from Etokri in India um, oh, quite a few months ago now. And I might go in and I'm a bit sore today. Wax or so. um, give it another press, it's been pre washed already, and yeah, give that another press. Pull out the pattern, I'm thinking about cutting it out for that one. that I'm going to to make with this fabric. Sort of a deep purple, black purple. So these patterns come as a computer file and you can choose to print them out as A4 tiles or you can um, take the you can get an AO file that you can take to a copy shop but I just do the tiles and I'll sit here and what I'll do is I'll be placing them out numbers match numbers Hang on. let's change hands so numbers match numbers that will slip underneath that and it will go on and secure them together and then you can cut out the pattern pieces. I just filmed a whole lot and realized I hadn't pressed play. So this is indicative of what it would look like, but I haven't finished. There's still quite a few to do. Um, but my floor is not big enough. So I'm just going to tape all the pieces together properly now because I've just tacked the tiles together. And then I will use the scissors and cut along here, along here, along here around here and then down there um, and then I'll be able to continue tacking on here I'll be able to shuffle that piece all the way up there Righto, starting to get sick of seeing my face. <laughs> uh, cut the pattern pieces, I've pieced them together, I've cut them out. Um, dinner, I made a beef stew, I guess, in the oven. And I've made little pies, so they're cooking. Just boiling some potatoes, they have mashed potatoes with them. There's vegetables in the pie in the pie 
in the pies. Sorry, it's bad position. Um, and I've whipped up some rice pudding, so that's baking as well. I'm very sore. I haven't felt the sore for quite a while, actually. Um, it's my hips, my pelvis gets quite sore. And that's part of the fibromyalgia, but yeah, I haven't had that for ages, but oh, I just started getting a bit sore this afternoon. And then I realised when I was ironing, I was getting quite a lot of shooting pain down my legs. So, in mind, probably sitting on the floor hasn't helped. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I just thought I'd come on quickly before everyone gets home. Jess has had open day or something. It's where parents, parents come to the school to... You know, um, primary school parents of primary school age students that will be going to intermediate next year. Um, come and check out the school to see if that's where they want to send their children. Um, so yes, yeah, so she'll be home at some stage. I haven't heard from Evan yet. He's gone up to the bush. Said he was going to let me know when he was coming home. So, yeah. Done. Tomorrow will be an interesting day. I'll see if I can get some footage for you. We've got our school athletics day. And um, my job is always timing the races. So, there's a group of us. I think there's usually about four of us. And we do first, second and third and there's always someone with backup. Have I done something to my face? Um, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a nice day. So I'll make sure I'm protected from the sun. Make sure I take a sun hat. Um, what else? Just trying to think of what else. My arm's getting sore holding the phone up. <laughs> Ow! Very, I'm very sore. Ow. Um, now, who was it? Was it Angie that replied to my question about the cheddar cheese? <laughs> I was laughing. I was thinking, oh, well, I guess I could have Googled it, couldn't I? <laughs> but, yeah, I did always wonder, why, why is American cheese so orange? Obviously, we don't put food colouring in our cheese. Um, yeah, so, yes, what else, what else, what else, I can't think, I feel like there's something, something I'll be missing, I don't know, hmm, Yeah, so I will try to remember. So last night, I would have probably, by this stage, you'll see, I would have written over the top. Last night, I just dished up my dinner, and I was going to take it, sit down, and record it so you could see what it was like. And, pardon me. And Evan walked in through the back door, and I was like, what are you doing home? And I hadn't done his tea because it was steak, and I don't like having to reheat steak. It's better just to cook it fresh. So I sat and ate mine and I directed him on how to cook his steak. So I kind of forgot to record a picture of what my food looked like. And um, so then I remembered, but he was eating his and he eats about three times as much as I do. So the plate looked really heaped up. And when he realised what I was doing afterwards, he goes, oh, people will think I'm a pig. <laughs> Slapping. That's because you are. <laughs> yeah. So I was watching some podcasts while I was cutting that out. I was going to cut the fabric out, but I don't think my hips will deal with that tonight. So I'm just going to sit back on the couch, making some pretty good progress with Clue too. Although I'm still, I'm never, I'm not going to catch up. <laughs> but that's okay. Someone said I saw something on Instagram today. Stephen West says, embrace your pace. 
So it's all good. It's all good. So these are the pies. I forgot to record my plate. <laughs> Just with some potatoes and butter. Catch you all next time.